for years, the Ghanaian education system has been more theoretical than practical. This has affected the quality of graduates and makes it difficult for students to practice what they study in school and implement the knowledge in a way that will be beneficial to society. On the average, only 12% of students currently choose to pursue science courses in Africa, according to Dex Technology. STEM is simply an advanced learning system using real-world application to develop a variety of skill sets to help you acquire 21st century skills. Utilize organization empowers and equips young people with relevant skills like problem solving, critical thinking, leadership, and entrepreneurship, which is really what Novel engineering is all about. The STEM project that mitochondria was introduced to elementary school students to expose them to exciting opportunities in STEM and to bridge the gap between young people and STEM. The concept behind mitochondria is novel engineering, which was developed by Tufts University Center for Engineering Education and Outreach in Massachusetts, USA. The organization seeks to spark the creativity and curiosity of the youth, helping them to know that they should not be afraid to fail and try again and have the desire to improve. All these skills and more are attained through STEM and will hopefully this project will be shared with elementary students across the country. Elementary students are at a very crucial learning stage and novel engineering is a great way to foster the joy of learning and through the sense of curiosity, it leads them to investigate and solve problems in the global sphere and they'll have fun while doing so. The main edition of Mitochondria was launched on 1st July 2021 at Confidence Academy. 50 junior high students participated in the project and there was an introductory presentation in STEM by Mr. Emmanuel Arthur, an IT expert and the CEO of Ramsey's Infotech Solutions. Maybe in the classroom you go there, this is a principle that will taught you and you conserve and you take them. Is that what it? Then when these guys were growing up, they begin to ask themselves, why is it that every time I want to travel, I have to walk? I have to walk. Why don't we have something that can let us fly like birds? They were trying to question. So if your generation is not questioning, you are missing your time. Are you good? Every generation must concern and go to a place where they have to question why is this thing happening? Why this? Why that? Why that? And as we are asking the questions, we are preparing our mind to make our contribution to solve the world's problems. From this presentation, the students came to know about the three C's of every generation, conserve, criticize, and contribute. Students were grouped initially into five teams. They read a novel titled A Long Walk to Water by Linda Sue Park and collectively identified the problems in the novel on their own and came up with practical solutions. It was enlightening and was educative on a lot of levels. Like I learned a lot too, and I think that um, I got to learn a lot too from the children aside the info session that Mr. Emmanuel led. And some of the ideas the children brought were quite wild, like wild. I don't know how wild I might say, like. They were thinking out of the box. They came up with very innovative solutions to problems. Some problems I didn't even know were there. They were able to think of all that. So I think um, they went beyond my expectation. I think they went all out. And I'm excited about this whole thing that we did. 
They were super excited when they were told that they were going to design and build their solutions all by themselves. It was wonderful to see how these youngsters could be so creative and innovative, designing various artifacts such as houses, pumping infiltration machines, just to mention a few. So when you come in the program, I was actually expecting the kids to build something that would blow my mind. And actually, I saw something that blew my mind. Because I saw one of the kids building, he first drew something that could drill into the ground for the water to come out. And he made a prototype of it, and so it's actually amazing. So that was one of my favorite expectations for it and I was actually blown away by what I saw from the kids. The students learned the value of teamwork and the materials and tools were just avenues for them to come together. Every student, no matter how smart, understood the value of teams in the building process. They came to understand the roles they had to play as young people in a country where the heights to which them can go are endless. Realizing that this project gives them vital life skills and helps them to appreciate science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, even in the little areas of life. That young people can be the leaders of tomorrow. Through STEM. And we collected a pipe from the river side of the community, like every house. <laughs> As you can, as you can see, you can, you can see, um, for the water there. National coordinator speaks about his experience and engagement with the students. The new There's been some enlightenment on STEM through more presentations and motivation to identify and solve problems in their communities, practice and take up STEM related courses. Our project has impacted young students to have the mind of a problem solver and a leader. Mission alone from STEM in our first project has educated more than a hundred young people in novel engineering. Ideas about a lot of things, and I think that was actually good to be inspired. Yeah, I'm very happy to have taken part in this program, and I hope you all learned something, and we all had fun, and I'm excited about the ideas that we all came up with and the solutions that we came up with. I hope from henceforth we know
So far as we can think it, we can't do it. and tertiary level and even in the corporate world our project has ensured that the minds of these young people will never be two-dimensional but filled with imagination and solutions to the tough problems today and beyond i also like that for me to be a full scientist you must be curious and that's the thing she cares the I want to be a person from now on. I'll be very curious about those as persons in the past. I'll be patient, open-minded, persistent, and she will be strong. May the particles of the United States be fantastic. In fact, we are privileged to have gotten you here. We were not expecting such a great program to be. Come to NC. We have done it for us. It can be very much interesting. I think uh, uh, it is a good thing that you can give us. It will go a long way to push the house of the children to also give them something they will have it with in the future. The future is exciting. If you can think it, you can do it. Mitochondria, changing the world through science, technology, engineering, and mathematics.